Oops. <laughs> What'd you do? It's over there. Somewhere. Shit, do you know where it is? I think it's somewhere over there. Wanna find it? Sure, let's go get it. What's up guys? Carter here from Iftron Tech and today this is gonna be an exciting video. Today we are talking about the Quad Finder application. Now what the heck is that you might say? Well, I'm gonna tell you. So I haven't had much experience with Quad Finder applications in the past. I've heard uh, other receiver modules that you put in your goggles have some, but I don't think there are any out there that do the same thing as this. So what's so special about this? So the way it works is, let me just get these. Basically all you need is a pair of goggles, some directional antennas, you can have one or two, it doesn't matter, and of course a quadcopter that is lost. I'm not actually going to throw that. So once you have lost your quadcopter, let's say you're flying in a race, you lose it out in the field, there's like 50 bazillion quads, you don't know which one is yours, or if you're just flying out by yourself and I don't know, you know, the, the big whoop guys fly up in the mountains, let's say you're doing something like that, you lose a quad. You still might have live video, but your quad could be upside down. It could be in a location that has a bunch of trees and stuff that all look the same. Any scenario, you wanna find your quad. What do you do? Step one, plug in your battery. Step two, navigate to the menu system. Step three, scroll down to lost drone finder application. And then all you have to do is select either your left antenna on this side, or your right antenna on this side. Uh, now if you have two directionals, you can select either. If you just have one directional, just select the whichever side has the correct antenna on it. The correct antenna being a directional antenna. Once you have selected that, you just long hold, then the screen will go blank. It'll say some information about how to return to the main menu system or live video. But other than that, it's blank. The reason for that being, when you are finding your drone, you're gonna be moving around like this. You don't wanna have your goggles on and be tripping over stuff. There's one more thing you'll need. A pair of these bad boys, some earbuds. All you'll do with this is plug it into the headphone jack on your Fat Sharks, and there you have it. You can also plug a speaker in. For the sake of this video, we're gonna plug a speaker in, but you know, a lot of guys have just like single-sided earbuds. Put that on. As soon as you open the application and select an antenna, this will begin beeping. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, maybe you have seen a glider variometer. It'll be a good boy, can't go above seven. Anyway, that is the magic of this. This works off of... <laughs> uh, that's a good one. Oh, you seriously thought I'd tell you how Clearview works? So once you have a directional antenna, you have a beam width. And if the quad is in the beam width, it'll beep higher and faster. And as you move away from the quad and it's out of the beam width, it'll go lower and lower and lower until if you're really far away from your quad or all the way turned around, blocking your antennas, whatever, you'll just hear a low bottom tone that's not beeping at all. Anyway, this is a lot easier if I just show you. It's not very easy to explain. So let's jump right into it and see what it's like. Show me how to use this. This. Plug this just plug in, in here. Okay. Just plug it in. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hide this in a place where Carter won't be able to see it. And he's gonna go find it. So there it is, turned on up against the snowbank so we can't see it that easily and now I'm gonna go back and tell Carter to go find it all right so Ira has just hidden the quad I have no idea where it is I'm just gonna scroll down and go to the lost drone finder application and now I have both antennas on here right now both of these are patches so I can select either one I want I'm just gonna select the left one because it's the first thing I see And so now I'll take these off, and you can hear it. As I turn around. All 
Uh, by the way, this this quadcopter that we're using is on 25 milliwatts. Um, it should work, you know, it should work even better on a higher milliwattage if you're using 200, 500 milliwatts, something like that. Uh, but just for demonstration purposes, you know, the quad is several hundred feet out and you can already hear as we move this around, it's still very accurate. Alright, that's the low tone, so if you block it with your body, um, you'll hear that very low tone. So, uh, right here, this is our beginning spot. If we turn the goggles this way, we can hear it's uh, giving us a bit higher tone. So we know it's somewhere in that direction. So we're just going to start walking this direction and uh, keep turning as we move. Here's a sweep. Low tones. Higher tones. Um, I, I really don't have any idea where this spot is, but hopefully we can find it with this guy. It's behind a snowbank and you still got it. Still got it. And now uh, I'll just take this for one second. I want you to uh, just see something. So you can hear, we're looking at it. The directional is pointed right at the quad. Right, I guess you're aiming away. So did you hear that right there? So even, uh, even just a couple feet after you are pointing at the quad, and then you go to the other side of the quad. Even within just that short range, it's uh, sensitive enough to show whether your quad is there or not. Do I look down enough? Yeah. Or in the last clip you saw, we were holding it in our hands. Um, now you can do this, it's really nice. You have a lot of mobility, you can move it up, down, all over. But I know there are some of you out there that are gonna wanna just stick these on your head and try to walk around that way. Um, once you're in the application and you have selected an antenna, there is no information on the screen because we want to try to prevent you from walking around with your goggles on. But if you want to just perch them up on your forehead like this. Um, okay. And you, you've, you've angled it so that the, the antenna in use is facing forward. Yeah. Okay. So you can see these guys are pointed roughly straight out in front of my forehead. Yep. And so if we turn this up. Obviously if you had an antenna with a bendable stalk, you could leave your goggles on your forehead in a normal direction and just bend the antenna. Turn that up a lot. So you can hear it's it's still working. So if we just uh, if we want to just follow these tones again, we'll be able to go find the quad. Spin. Okay, go get your quad. Right to it. Just like we expected. So there we have it. Um, works like a charm. Great. All right, now I know a lot of you might be a little skeptical about this. We designed this, we set up this video. Did we actually do what we said or did I know where the quad was all along? Well, I can tell you for a fact I did not know where the quad was. I had no idea. But if you still don't believe me, watch this. Oh, it goes very low when you're... You bet. Getting very fast now. Right to it. <laughs> that works very well. It's within a few feet. Is that amazing? Yeah. That's why I can see low, but if you have any energy at all, it's going to Yeah, yeah, you definitely. I mean, just walking past it there, it was after a couple feet, you're like, oh, I'm going to run right now. <laughs>
All right, guys, and I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you're as excited about this as I am. It's an amazing application. Um, in all of our testing, it's led us straight to the quad and a direct V-line. I couldn't be happier with it. If you still don't believe me, however, go try it yourself. I encourage you to do that. Um, you know, you don't even have to lose a quad on accident. Just during a break at a race or something, have your friend. Have him go toss it out in the field and, uh, you know, make a game of it. It's really that fun. So please film it, show us what you've done, tell us what you think, all that good stuff. Um, and otherwise, I think that's it. So please subscribe to our channel if you haven't. Give us a big thumbs up. Comment if you have any questions and do all that good stuff. As always, I'm Carter from Iftron Tech, and I'll see you next time. Bye.